Hello! Today I am doing a tag. To be specific, the writing is life tag. Uh, now this is an original by Julian Grace Stoke and I found out about this from Sarah Wright like ages ago. Uh, this one has been sitting on my to-do list for like forever, like months and months and months and I'm really sorry it's taken me so long to get around to doing it. But I'm doing it today. Um, so. Question number one, magically make one of your works in progress ready for publishing, which? Now this would be, I can I pick two here? Because really I have, um, do you like me? Which is my YA, uh, YA cyber stalking novel, um, which I am in the editing stages of. And to be honest with you, I much prefer writing the first draft <laughs> and, you know, getting the story out and getting to know the characters and everything. Once you get to the point where you are editing and then re-editing and editing and editing, um, I find that part uh, much more tedious and less fun. And that's what I'm at right now with Do You Like Me? Um, so probably that, so I can just skip ahead. Um, or if not, I've also got a non-fiction, which is also in the editing stages, which is from idea to published book, um, which I would like to get done as well, so I have both. Um, number two, who is your favourite character you have written and why? Um, oh, so many favourite characters. They're all favourite characters in a way. Um, I'd probably go with... Uh, maybe Anna Ashton from Just Love Me because she's so messed up but so together at the same time she just doesn't realise that she is um, and just the things that happen to her there's a lot of stuff that um, either happened to me personally or has happened to my friends and she's just like this combination of all these different things um, or if not her then Jerry who is also from Just Love Me because he's just so, he just, he has that larger than life personality and things and he's just awesome. So one or the other of those. Um, number three, what is the most terrible thing you have done to a character? I have done so many terrible things to my characters. I'm so sorry to my characters. Um, whether it's like majorly embarrassing stuff or like killing them off and things. I've done a, a lot of stuff, um, torturing them and things like that as well. I think the one of the worst ones would probably be Dave Williamson from The Story Vengeance. Um, because he was such a nice guy and um, he had a very brutal end um, and I actually I nearly cried after writing that scene just to give you an idea of like the connection so yeah probably Dave I'm really sorry Dave um, number four what character or work are you most with or want to go back and rework. Um, I think Just Love Me, actually, because every time I go back to it, it's like visiting old friends, just like the cast of characters. I just, yeah, they're just like old friends and I, I get back into it and it's just, I'm there. And I've been working on it like, like for years. Basically, I started it years ago, but I hop back into it a little bit, and then I, it gets left aside, and I hop back into it. But every time I hop back in, it is it's like just going back to, to old friends and things. So, yeah, probably just love me. Number five, pick a theme song for the main character of your current work in progress. Now, I'm currently working on finishing the Cosmos series. Um, so, my main character here would be Matthew Smith. And the song that I would pick is Sign of the Times by Harry Styles. Um, now, partly because um, Matt, he, he travels through time, um, so he, he has to, you know, the whole 
sign of the times theme to it actually fits quite well. But um, also because I have listened to this song so much whilst writing this series, just because I really like the song and so do my kids, so it tends to be on somewhere in the house at some point, um, a lot of the time whilst I'm writing. So yeah, I'm going to go for that one. Uh, number six, what is a trope or cliche you're embarrassed to say that you've used? Um, none. No, no, I'm not saying that I've not used them, I'm just not embarrassed about using them. Um, I think it's incredibly hard in today's literature to write something that is completely new and original. Um, I think to some extent it's all tropes and cliches, you know, it's just putting your own angle on it, your own voice to um, something that's already been done to be honest. and I'm not, I'm not embarrassed about that at all I think it's just part of where we're at um, number seven a wizard tells you that if you stop writing forever one of your other dreams will 100% come true right now would you do it short answer no um, I am one of those people that believes that everything happens for a reason and um, yes I I have lots of big dreams that you know seem unreachable and things and um, I would love for them to come true I, but I do believe that if they're meant to then they will at some point and I'm fine waiting for that because I don't think I could give up writing it's part of who I am as a person you know and I it's just such a big part of me I couldn't give that up regardless so no um, number eight what do you do when you're not writing well, I'm a wife and a mum to two young boys. Um, so a lot of the time I'm either doing my kids do both swimming and jujitsu. Um, so we're normally either in training for one or the other or we're doing competitions for one or the other. Um, they recently became um, they did the Italian championship for Jiu Jitsu and the youngest one gold and the other one got bronze for his category and things so they're actually Italian champions of Jiu Jitsu and they won't have money. Um, so I'm generally doing stuff like that or with their swimming as well, they're, they're doing lots of competitions and stuff so we do lots of that or there's birthday parties or play dates or all the other stuff that you do with kids. Um, when I'm not doing like family stuff like that, I like to read. Um, I'm definitely much more often would pass the evening reading a book as opposed to watching TV. I do watch some TV but not very much at all and it doesn't generally bother me if I don't watch TV. I don't have like kind of fixed things that I watch and so I'd much rather sit down with a book basically. So I'm either doing that or I'm doing something else creative. Um, I run some blogs. Um, I'm also a book cover designer, uh, so I'm working on pre-made and things like that. I'm also an illustrator, so if I'm not working on illustrating one of my own projects, then I'm generally working for clients or stuff like that as well, or just doing for the fun something at the end Um, so yeah, uh, that number nine. If you could show anyone, alive or dead, your work, who would it be? Uh, here, there's no real, like, good answer to this. I want my stuff read by as many people as possible. And as much as I would love, for example, to have someone like Julia Donaldson, for example, read one of my children's books, I would much rather have just any kid read one of my children's books and give me feedback on it um, you know because I keep getting excited about one of my books is would actually mean more to me anyway so yeah um, everyone and no one in particular would be the answer to that and then we have the last question and question number 10 is what was the most stressful thing you have ever written as in stressful for you to write um, I don't generally find writing stressful. 
Um, I actually enjoy it regardless of the kind of scene I'm writing. But I'd probably go with maybe one of the more aggressive scenes from or Vengeance or Family Secrets. Um, just because they're both um, they're both thrillers and some of the scenes are pretty brutal and kind of out there and so you know getting into that and you know getting inside the head of a serial killer and things is kind of stressful because it's you know, stepping away from those really strong emotions and things is, that's a little bit kind of out there. But um, in fact, when I'm working on those, I then tend to sort of hop over and do a children's book or something as well. And I've been asked over the years in lots of different interviews and things, like how do you hop between writing a, a thriller about a serial killer, you know, where you're killing everyone, to doing a nice, happy and light children's book. And um, that's actually why I do it because, you know, you get in so dark and deep with some of the, the other stuff that you need the complete opposite to, you know, put balance back into your life again. So, um, yeah, that's, that's probably my answers. And that's it. It's finished. Um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed watching this tag. Um, now I've got to think of some people to tag. I hadn't thought of this. Hold on, let me think. Okay, I had to think about it. And I'm going to tag three people. I'm going to tag Lauren Cook from Cook's Books. I'm going to tag Jessica Samuels. And I'm going to tag uh, Sade Renee. Okay, so ladies, do your answers to this. I can't wait to see um, what you come up with. Um, anyway, that's it. Also, if you um, haven't been tagged yet and you would like to do it, then you can officially consider yourself tagged by me. Okay, just uh, let me know if you do it. Um, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, then give it a like. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads. And um, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.